everyone, the Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here. Check out our website, raywaldo.com, for more information. Today we're using the Ubuntu USB disk that we thumb drive that we created in a previous episode. And uh, this is what it looks like when it boots up. You just put it in Windows in the USB uh, port of your Windows machine, turn the machine on, and it should boot up into the device. Uh, and this is what it looks like, uh, except that I have already created a folder called SC and inside that folder I have uh, downloaded and copied a couple of files. One is the make repartition image that I get from MegDot. That's what we're going to use to create a, uh, a repartition image file uh, that MegDot has, has built and it will use, we will use it then to burn an SD image that we can use on our Nook tablet to uh, unbrick the device if it's bricked or to uh, otherwise uh, to otherwise uh, eliminate any problems that we have with it. And uh, let me see what's going on here. Okay. And uh, so that's what we're using. Then we also have the Nook Tablet 1.42 update zip that we download from uh, Barnes & Noble. If you don't have that, then this script file will also download it for you. Now, one of the things that you want to be sure is that you have a network connected. And the network icon is this little icon up here, and it's flashing looking for a signal right now. I'll click on it, and we'll tell it we want this one here. I think that's a little stronger signal than the one we tried to get on a minute ago. Uh, it says it's still disconnected, uh, but now it connection established. Okay, that's what we want. Okay, so we're back to the, the folder over here. We unzip the repartition image. The other one we'll leave alone. Move down here and extract here. Uh, let's see. Extract here. And it will extract just that uh, SC or SH file. We click on it, right click, and go to Properties. Under Properties, we open Permissions. Down in the bottom down here, let me get down to where you can see it, there's a box uh, that we need to tick called Allow Executing as a Program and Close. That's all we need. And uh, over here again, we've still got uh, problems with the connection. Um, we hope that gets going there. Because uh, we do have to have a network connection to make this run. So, um, while we're waiting on that network connection to come up, um, Well, I'm having trouble with my network, so we'll have to come back a little bit later and uh, get to where we can have a network. Let me try disconnecting all together here. And I have two wireless devices. I have uh, one that appears to be logged in already. And on this one, disconnected now. Maybe I just need to disconnect that one and then connect this one over here to SAM 300. Let's see what that does. You probably won't have that problem. Uh, you'll be close to your network probably. I'm a little bit too far away from it and uh, also uh, there we go. We've got a connection now. Alright, so uh, we've got the script running uh, over here now. And so that's what we need on that. And so we then go to the dash home and click and type in TRM or T E R M I M T E R M. It should get us there. We've got a terminal. Okay, we'll click on the terminal and that opens up a terminal uh, which is Windows equivalent of uh, command prompt. 
Okay, it brought it down here in the bottom. I'll drag it up so you can see it. Okay, and in the terminal, we're going to uh, CD, which is change directory, to the desktop with a capital D, D E S K T O P, and it is case sensitive, and that gets us there. We do a CD to the SC folder that I created, and we do a DIR to tell us what's in there. And there is our series of files. And so now we're going to issue a command called sudo. S-U-D-O means I want to be super user and do what I tell you. sudo space dot forward slash M-K-R-E-P-A-R-T-I-M-G dot S-H is the name of the file. Execute that. And let's see what happens. Now it should create at the end a repart.image file. And it will create some other files as well, but uh, the repart.image file is the one that we're looking for. And it'll be a little over 500k, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so it's working, doing some stuff. Uh, looks like everything is doing okay so far. It's got to create all the files that it needs to go into that file because that file then will be used to burn an SD card image or that will be an SD image and we burn that to an SD card and when we do we'll take the card then and put it into the nook turn the nook on with the card inside and it should automatically repartition and clean up our nook t tablet. Okay, so Everything's just kind of quiet right now, but it should be working still. Just keep letting it run, let it run. It takes a while for this to operate, so just hang on. Doesn't look like anything's happening, but it'll pop up here in a minute. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the video. And uh, there'll be another episode that will show you how to take the repart image that it creates and burn that to the SD card. Okay, see you next time.